Hi there, this is Dr. Lori Barr. I am an internationally recognized health and vitality expert, diagnostic imaging radiologist, mentor, professional speaker, and the author of two books, Tang Your Mind, Save Your Life, and Handbook of Pediatric Imaging. More importantly, I'm a wife, a mother, and a volunteer, just like you. I struggle to juggle the same professional and personal activities that you do. I walk the fine line of moderation so that my body, my mind, and my spirit and my awareness are nourished and replenished so that I grow. Sometimes I reach and I fail and try again and get up and keep going. Most people consider me quite optimistic and one of my friends recently asked me if I would consider teaching a class called Optimism for Beginners, a way to get people started who may have not been successful at keeping optimism consistent throughout their lives. And that's what my class is all about. So I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. Optimism is a pretty ambiguous word and it can be pretty hard to find, almost like being in a fog. My class will be taught on August 24th and 25th of 2010. And after I give you a little bit of a description, we'll talk about the mechanics of the class. So let's think about that fog again. You know, when you're in a fog, it can be really difficult to figure out if what you're feeling or sensing is helpful and uh, supportive of what you want to do or destructive and scary. Well, some words are like that. Two that come to mind are the word mind itself, because most people don't have a clear picture of what their mind looks like. And the second is the word optimism. So before we get started looking at my class, let's define the word optimism in a little more detail. Most people, when they think of the word optimistic, think about the glass being half full. And a person who views it that way as opposed to the glass being half empty is an optimist. If you actually look at the origin of the word optimism, it comes from biology. And the original word optimum or optimal described a set of circumstances or conditions that were ideal for the result that one desired in an experiment. So an optimist, with that in mind, would be someone who identifies appropriate conditions for the result they desire and creates those conditions in a reproducible way time after time after time. That's what I'd like to teach you in Optimism for Beginners. My background is science and engineering as a diagnostic radiologist. I've practiced radiology for 20 years. And in that time, I've learned some very important things. One is the importance of pattern recognition and a framework for learning and education. Number two, I understand the importance of scientific rigor, especially if you're going to apply it to ambiguous ideas to help people improve their lives. So this is what differentiates me from, say, someone like Tony Robbins and other motivational speakers who talk about being optimistic and can really help some people. 
I don't want to fall in that category. I'm someone who gives you a learning framework and gives you the building blocks you need so that you can create the desired results in your own life. And you don't need a Tony Robbins and you don't need me once you learn the framework. You want to be able to have a reproducible system that no matter where you are in your life's journey, you can be your own mentor and get yourself on the right track so that you create the optimal results and the optimal conditions for the results you want in your life. So we apply scientific rigor in this course to the study of optimism. Now that may say boring. The place we're going to start is with a, a, a process of journaling that is going to take you from the point of identifying what lens you see the world through and take you through all the five aspects of yourself and really learn in depth why you've gotten the results you've gotten and how that differs from where you might like to be with the results in your life. You'll learn to distinguish the optimist from the dreamer, the charlatan, and the positive thinker. You'll learn nine habits that successful optimists employ without a conscious thought. The next thing we'll do is teach you five fun ways to activate your optimism no matter how down you feel. Part of this is the process of journaling. And you don't have to share your answers with anyone. This is all about you learning more about yourself and learning a framework where you can motivate yourself to action no matter what point you find yourself at on the curve of, hey, things are really going great, or hmm, things have been better and it looks like they're not going to get better for quite some time. You need to know how to motivate yourself from whatever spot you see yourself in. The process of journaling is really important because the subconscious mind is like a jealous lover. It loves to hear from you in written words, in spoken words, and in song. So we'll go through that process and help you design some tools that will reinforce the ideas you need to create a habit of optimism within your daily life. You'll have the framework you need to turn the skills of optimism into your own optimism habits. So it's a two-day class, August 24th and 25th. It's total immersion. You're going to learn all about yourself how you see the world, how this influences the five aspects of your life, your relationships, your spiritual well-being, your uh, security and income and professionalism, your mind and how you process ideas, and also your family relationships. So we'll go over all of that material. It's two days, total immersion, and it is too much fun. I don't want anybody to take this class who is not willing to laugh at themselves. If you're one of those people who takes yourself too seriously, please do not sign up for this class. I really don't have time to entertain people like that in this uh, format. Working with someone who takes themselves too seriously takes far longer than two days. I need people who can get down to it and have fun with themselves. So there it is. You'll laugh. You'll sigh. And you're going to really be surprised. It might feel silly at first, and that's just right, because you know what? You're at Wizard Academy. You're with your tribe. That right place, right time feeling you always get when you take classes at Wizard Academy. So come August 24th and 25th. In fact, come the evening of the 23rd, the night before. Let's get to know each other before the class starts on the 24th. Immerse yourself for the whole period. Stay through the night of the 25th and really get the most out of this immersive experience where you become your own mentor and you decide on the patterns of optimism that go are going to take you through your life's journey and sustain you day after day after day. I'm Lori Barr and that's what this class is about. Thank you.